so excited to be with you today. My name is Miss Hillary and I'm from the Powell branch. Are you guys ready to get started with story time? Awesome, me too. So our story time today is about a really big holiday that's happening tomorrow. Wow. Can you guys think of a holiday it is? We get together with families. Some people watch the parade. Some people watch football. We get together and we eat a big meal. Can you think of what holiday it is? What was it? Can you yell it louder? Thanksgiving. That's right. Good job. So I know that Thanksgiving will look a little bit different this year. But on Thanksgiving, we normally all get together as a big family. We eat yummy food. What are some things that you eat at Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving dinner, can you think? Hmm. I eat turkey and I eat mashed potatoes and gravy. I eat Brussels sprouts, which are really yummy. I eat corn, I eat rolls. Normally there's pumpkin pie. That sounds good. Now, did you know that there are families who don't eat all of those things for Thanksgiving? Yeah, they eat a whole bunch of different stuff for Thanksgiving. We are actually going to learn about that and hear about it in Duck for Turkey Day by Jacqueline Jules. So we're going to find out about a family that has Duck for Turkey Day. Mm. To get ready for Thanksgiving, Tuyette's class sang turkey songs. They made pinecone turkeys. They talked about pilgrims and Native Americans. See you on Monday, Mrs. Cook said when the bell rang. Have a great turkey day. Tuyette was excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. They would get three days off from school but there was something important she had to talk to mama about. What do you think that important thing is? We'll have to find out. Mama, Tuyette said as soon as she got home, we need a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, we don't, Mama said. We'll buy a duck at the market, but everybody else will have turkey, Tuyette said. That afternoon, Bonnoy arrived from New York. Tuyette hugged her grandmother. We're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner. I know, Bonnoy said. We're using my recipe from Vietnam. Everyone else has turkey. Our family likes duck better, Bonnoy answered. Back home, Tuyette went to her bedroom. She pulled her pine cone turkey out of her school bag. Mama and Bonnoy don't know the rules about Thanksgiving, she told the turkey. Tuyette counted money in her wallet. Twelve dollars. That might be enough to get a turkey from the market. On Wednesday, Mama drove Tuyette and Bonnoy to the Saigon supermarket. Tuyette held her wallet in her hand. Inside the store, she saw all sorts of vegetables. She saw fish, pork, duck, chicken, beef, shrimp, but no turkey anywhere. Tuyette watched Bonnoy talk to the man at the counter. He handed her a package. This duck will be delicious. Bonnoy told Tuyette. Tuyette pulled her, put her wallet in her pocket. Oh man, she looks pretty sad, doesn't she? Do you think she's worried that they won't have turkey? I think she is. The next morning, good cooking smells filled the house. Tuyette peeked into the kitchen. Soon, all kinds of food would be put on the table, but there would be no turkey. Oh my goodness, no turkey. Tuyette ran to her room and brought out the pine cone turkey she had made in school. Now there's a turkey on the table, she said to herself. 
she felt a little bit better. Her cousins, Kimli and Min, came over at three. They played tag outside until the grown-ups were ready to eat. Did you know we're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner? Tuya asked her cousins. Yum, Kimli said. I love duck with spicy sauce, said Min. Mama called them inside for dinner. Kimli and Min ran up the steps, but Tuya walked slowly. Was she the only one that knew that Thanksgiving was Turkey Day? I'd like to give thanks, Daddy said when they sat down at the table, for our home and for our family. For America, Ba Noi said, raising her glass. For all this good food, Min said, picking up his fork. I'm hungry. Everyone laughed and passed their plates to be filled. Tuyet had a little bit of everything, but she had seconds of the duck. She loved the spicy sauce and the dark meat. Mmm, sounds yummy. When it was time to say goodbye, everybody hugged. What a great Thanksgiving day, Kimli told Tuyet. It had been wonderful, Tuyet thought, with lots of good food and family fun. But what would Mrs. Cook say about eating duck on Turkey Day? What do you think her teacher's gonna say? Ooh, we're gonna find out. On Monday morning, Mrs. Cook gathered the class on the story rug. How was your turkey day, she asked. Tyler raised his hand. My grandpa came, we played football. That's nice, Mrs. Cook said. Who else saw their grandparents? Tuyet raised her hand along with her other classmates. Who saw cousins, Mrs. Cook asked. Tuyet raised her hand again. Who'd like to talk about their dinner? Mrs. Cook looked around the room. Tuyet put her hand down. Tears burned in her eyes. Is there something wrong? Mrs. Cook asked gently. We didn't have turkey, Tuyet blurted out. We had duck. For a few moments, the class was quiet. Then Fong raised his hand. We didn't have turkey either. We had noodles and chicken. We had lamb, Tarek said. We had roast beef, Jonathan said. We had enchiladas, Carolina said. We had tofu turkey, said Amy. Mrs. Cook smiled. It doesn't matter what you eat on Thanksgiving, as long as you have a good time with family and friends. After school, Tuyet hurried home. Mama, she called when she opened the door. I have a new name for Thanksgiving. In our house, we can call it Duck Day. The end. That was such a good story. It was so awesome to hear about how other people have different food for Thanksgiving. I think it'd be really yummy to have duck or tofu turkey. Tofu turkey would be good or even roast beef. It would be so much fun to try all that yummy food. All right, guys, we are going to sing a song. We are going to sing If You're Thankful and You Know It. It's very similar to If You're Happy and You Know It, but we say we're thankful instead. And at the end, instead of shouting hooray, we're gonna shout I am, okay? Are you guys ready? Here we go. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. If you're thankful and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're thankful and you know it, clap your hands. Good job, we're gonna stomp our feet next. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're thankful and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're thankful and you know it, 
And you really want to show it if you're thankful and you know it. Stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Good job, guys. We're going to show I am this time. Are you ready? If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. If you're thankful and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're thankful and you know it, shout I am. I am. Good job, guys. What are some of the things that you're thankful for this year? I know this year has been weird, but we just sang a song about being thankful. So let's think about what we're thankful for this year. Let's think. I'm thankful. I got a cat this year. You saw her in my last story time video. I'm thankful for my cat. Do you guys have any pets that you're thankful for? You do, that's so exciting. I'm thankful for mom and dad. Are you guys thankful for mom and dad? Or for the grown-ups in your life? I'm thankful for all of the grown-ups in my life. I've needed a lot of help. Are you thankful for, ooh, are you thankful for being able to sing and play dress up? Oh, I love, I love to sing and play dress up. Are you thankful for rain puddles that you get to jump in? Oh, wow, there's so many things to be thankful for. That's right. So our next book is Thanks for Thanksgiving by Julie Marks. It's going to go through all of the fun things that we can be thankful for. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. We've been extra thankful for school this year too and for our teachers. I'm so thankful for teachers. Thank you for music and dancing and art. Thank you for playdates, for swings and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. Thank you for sweet puppies and soft furry cats. Thank you for dress up, red shoes and big hats. Thanks for umbrellas, for rain boots and puddles. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Thank you for daddy and rides on a sled. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. The end. That was such a good book with all of the things that we can be thankful for, huh? Well, I hope that you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that it'll look different this year, but be thankful for all that we have. And, oh man, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. Be sure to think about all the things you're thankful for and share them with your family. A great thing to do as a family is to talk about where you grew up, 
all of the things in your family, your parents, your grandparents. The more we share with our kids our history and our family history, the more they have a deeper sense of self and identity and it really helps them be more confident and secure in who they are as they get older. So this Thanksgiving, if you can't see grandparents, if you can't see aunts and uncles, bring up their pictures and tell stories about them when you grew up that you've heard from them. Or even see if you can FaceTime them and get the stories from them. It's such a great way to to really know who you are and it'll really help your kids get confident and, and feel secure in who they are. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna sing Skinnamarink. Are you guys ready? Let's get out our Skinnamarinks. All right, ready? Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, Skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you too. Boo boo be doo. All right, guys, that's all the time we have today for story time. Like I said, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And parents, be sure to check out our website for more information on our virtual programs, walkthrough browsing, and curbside service hours. All right, guys, can't wait to see you in person. Bye.